Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're gonna to go to Universal Studios Hollywood. Right now we're currently in City Walk because we're gonna be checking out those two mazes being built in the back lot. Uh, man, I haven't been in like three weeks, but look. Look at Tucson Chocolate Emporium. It's completely covered up. Crazy. They're definitely working hard to get this finished. You can hear a bunch of construction noises in the background. You can also hear music, which is being played, but <laughs> you, can, you can hear a lot of construction noises as well. But anyways, I think we're gonna check out those two mazes and then we'll start heading to the park. So since the last time I was here, which was about three weeks ago now, sadly, uh, they, didn't, they hadn't announced like all the mazes they were coming to get Universal, but now they have, and so we basically have a good idea of like all the mazes are coming and where they're gonna be going. But anyways, here's a look at the two mazes being built in the back lot. So they have this maze, which again, before we didn't know what it was, now we know it's Scarecrow the Reaping. There's even a Scarecrow up front, like, I'm sure it's all old news, but like I said, I haven't been here in like a while, so this is all new to me. <laughs> but man, that looks awesome. And then we already knew this one. This one's Halloween. It's Michael Myers' house. And again, it looks awesome. They have all the trees and and all that. I keep saying it every time I come here, but I can't wait for this maze. I'm like, this is like the one I'm really looking forward to going through. So how was your updated look at those two mazes for this week? Um, not much changed since the last time I was here at those mazes. They did add some more like trees and shrubbery and like more like little fine details, but besides that, it looks about the same. But anyways, I think before we head to the park, I want to show you guys the old Production Central location because I'm also curious to see if anything's changed there. And here's a look at the old Production Central location. It's changed a little bit since the last time I was here. There was Scrim here and they were doing some work, which obviously it was this. And then now it's blue around it and there's red on the front. I still have no idea what's coming here, but can't wait to see. I was passing by the Universal Studios store and I noticed something strange. So this side, everything looks normal, but on this part where they have like the Simpsons stuff, everything's a little bit different. Like all the windows are blacked out, which I wonder why, I'm really curious. If you guys know, let me know in the comments, but hopefully find out soon. But that's basically it for City Walk. Now we're gonna head to the park. So we're about to enter the park in a little bit, but check out the sign. It says, we're in the process of dressing our park for Universal Studios Hollywood Halloween Horror Nights. During your visit, please be aware that you may see graphic props and sets from horror films. Ooh, I can't wait to see what we're gonna see today. <laughs> and after waiting in line for like 10 minutes, we're now inside the park. I now fully understand why they have that sign at the entrance of the park. Check this out, Sideshow Slaughterhouse. That's awesome. <laughs> Man, look at that face. <laughs> look at those bulging eyes. This is so cool. And look, he's holding something. Looks like a heart or something, I don't know. Whatever it is, it's really bloody. <laughs> and then on the other side, there's a two-headed person. Huh. Amazon Eve. And then again, they have a sign here letting everybody know that there's gonna be stuff like this around the park for HHN. And if you want to get your tickets, you can now by scanning this QR code. Madam Ravencroft, fortune teller and palm reader. Can I check this out when, when I come to HHN? Oh my god, it's the bearded lady. <laughs> and the Cyclops? With a snake around her neck? Like I said, all that stuff I just showed you guys was so awesome. Uh, it's my first time seeing it here because like I said, I haven't been here in a, in a couple weeks now. But now we're in the plaza and there's a bunch of other stuff put up for HHN. This is cool and terrifying at the same time. Look at this. La Llorona. The legend of La Llorona. They've also got a couple of drink stands put up too. They got this one and then a little smaller one over there. And then right at the entrance of the plaza, check out this hearse. Man. Whoa, look at the hood. That's so cool. So we're now right in front of that maze being built next to Mel's Diner, which before we didn't know what it was, but now we do with La Llorona, it's confirmed. And also the walls are down and the maze looks awesome. Let me show you guys. Look at that. Looks like they're still putting up some details, but really cool. Can't wait to go through this maze as well. I'm really excited for HHN, guys. <laughs> As you guys can tell. But as excited as I am to see all the HHN updates, like this and that. Wait, where is it? Right there, there it is. <laughs> I really can't wait to see how Super Nintendo World's looking now. But here's a look at Super Nintendo World. Uh, like I said, a few of these updates are gonna be a little bit old, but they're new to me. Like this tree, that's new to me. Haven't seen that yet. The Goomba there. Yoshi. The pipe. There's another one over there, right there. 
the mushroom right there. Man, that's so cool. <laughs> it's coming along nicely. Look at that. And the, even the entrance looks cool, look. It's not finished yet, but it is taking shape. Look, it looks like a pipe already, which looks awesome. And then I was watching uh, Nick's video from Winners of Magic, and he mentioned how this blue wall, or this wall is being painted blue now, so... I'm guessing that's just to give a, a sky look in the background, if I had to take a guess. Man, that's a lot of wall, look at that. <laughs> But as always mentioned, that's your first angle of Super Nintendo World. I'll show you guys another angle once we start heading down to the lower lot. Check out the scare zone for the La Llorona maze. So cool. And then again, they have another one of those signs. <laughs> Look at Skeleton's eyes. These posters are really cool too. This poster has all the posters on it, look. And then some more skeletons. Haunted Forest. I'd turn back if I were you. I would keep going. <laughs> Beware, Haunted Forest. This guy's like a tree or something, like a tree pumpkin. This is like Groot if he was like evil. <laughs> and there's another sign saying, Beware Haunted Forest, turn back now. I cannot wait to go through the Haunted Forest now. So just to give you guys a quick update, we ended up going through like Hogsmeade. Uh, we ended up going through some stores and found nothing new today, sadly. But uh, Universal did drop some pretty cool news last week. Apparently Death Ears are coming to HHN, which I don't know about you guys, but I'm really excited for that. But anyways, I think our next stop is gonna be the lower lot. All right guys, so we're dropping down a level and I wanted to show you guys the two mazes you can see from up here, which is Universal Monsters Legends Collide, which it looks about the same as it did last time I was here. And then way off in the distance, you can see this maze, which was recently announced, which is Killer Clowns. And then as promised, here's a second angle of Super Nintendo World. Wow, Bowser's Castle looks awesome. Look at that. Oh, there's another pipe right there. I didn't see that one from the upper lot, but you can see it right there. And you can see another tree right there on the left. You can see Yoshi a little bit better. And then here's another look at the entrance. And after three flights of escalators later, we are now in the lower lot. Um, so, Apparently there's a new uh, Super Nintendo World merch shop down here in the lower lot where it used to be where the Universal Studios store was located, which is right there. It's now called the Character Shop. I guess the two at the entrance wasn't enough, so they had to build a third one <laughs> and bring more Super Nintendo World merch. And for the most part, it looks like you can find all this merchandise in the upper lot as well. I don't want to go through it again, but it does look cool in here. I like the, the theming. They did a good job. But after the character shop, we ended up coming here to Jurassic Outfitters because it looks like they have some new merchandise. I'm going to show you guys around a little bit. They have this water bottle, which I've never seen before. It's kind of cool. This one's $21, in case you're interested. And then they also have this hat. This one's $26. They've also got this drawstring bag, which matches a hat I just showed you guys. This definitely was not here on my last trip. Let's see if I can find a price for you guys. Looks like it's $28. They've also got these Jurassic World Dominion travel mugs. This one's $18. But as far as I can tell, I think that was basically everything new inside Jurassic Outfitters today. I think now we're gonna head to the upper lot and check out the stores up there. So we just made our way to the Universal Studios store in the upper lot and look what finally came in guys. Let me show you guys. It's the Back to the Future Loungefly bag. That is so cool. It's got the clock and the DeLorean. The backpack is $82. Apparently there's a crossbody and then the wallet. I guess this is the crossbody and I'm not seeing the wallet but this is cool too. This one's $79. 
So I ended up asking a team member if I could see the launch pipe bags outside of the display case, and uh, they said that that's fine. So they're gonna bring them out right now so I can show you guys in better detail. So here's a look at the crossbody bag. It's really nice. This bag retails for, as I mentioned, $79. Oh, look at the back. <laughs> that's awesome. Even the tag is cool. So it's Back to the Future, Lounge Fly. Let me show you guys the inside. I hope that looks cool too. Uh, it's like the plutonium uh, symbol and then the, the flux capacitor. <laughs> or the nuclear symbol and the flux capacitor. And then here's, here's what I was looking forward to seeing the most. The backpack. That's so cool. You can even like move the little dial. <laughs> the flames on the side. Sorry, they just put this out of the packaging, so that's why it saw so the cardboard and plastic on it, but on the back it's got the out-of-time license plate. Uh, this one's $82, and then as always, let me show you guys the lining inside. So on the inside, it just says Back to the Future over and over again. That's pretty cool. Man, those lounge fly bags are pretty cool. I personally like the backpack over the crossbody bag. Uh, I even asked about the wallet, and apparently the wallet hasn't shown up yet, even though it says right here that there should be a wallet, but I, I don't know. Hopefully it comes soon, and if it does, I'll show you guys. And then besides those launch fly bags, they still have the ET ones, the Universal Monsters, and they have the Jaws line as well. So they're coming to the store next door, and look, they have a Cat in the Hat launch fly bag and wallet. I'm not sure if this is new or not, but I can honestly say I've never seen this one before. It's at the wall is $55 and the backpack is $82. So a team member actually pointed out to me too, look, there's a Thing 1 and a Thing 2 launch fly bag as well. All right, so they brought out the Thing 1 bag. I'm sure that the Thing 2 looks exactly the same, <laughs> but this one's so cool. Oh, I think it's one bag. It's just on one side says Thing 1, and the other side says Thing 2. So it is the same bag. Uh, let me see the price. This one is $82. And then let's take a look at the inside. Oh, that's so cool. It's got the cat in the hat. And then here's a close look at the cat in the hat bag. This one's awesome. Let me show you guys the back. This is like brand, brand new. I just pulled it out of the plastic. <laughs> this one's $82 as well. And then let's check out the inside. That's cool, it's just stripes. And then lastly, they have the wallet, which matches the bag perfectly. This one is uh, $55. And then, if I had to take a guess, I'm sure it's gonna be striped inside. Yep, red and white stripes. Alright guys, but anyways, that's basically everything new I was able to find in the park today. I think I'm gonna end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.